Shocking news tonight about the man accused of dragging a woman into a secluded area off Ming Avenue in Bakersfield Monday and sexually assaulting her. He is a notorious sex offender, a rapist who terrorized Bakersfield in the 1980s, only recently released from a decades long prison sentence. 58 year old Sergio Venegas was arrested Tuesday on suspicion of assaulting the woman at knife point on Ming Avenue near New Stein Road. The woman telling police she was walking alone when the man approached her 33 years ago. Venegas was dubbed the supermarket rapist after a series of kidnappings and rapes at local grocery stores. 17's Moses Small has been investigating and he joins us now with the latest. Moses? Now 58 years old, Sergio Venegas was convicted of rape in the 90s and he's the first person in Kern County convicted with the help of DNA evidence. Sergio Venegas was suspected of at least six assaults in supermarket parking lots around Bakersfield in the late 80s. And while Venegas was suspected in those cases, he was charged and convicted only for a separate rape at the Red Lion Inn in 1989. Court records show he bound and gagged his victim with cough and electrical cords, raped her, and cut her with a knife in several places. He then reportedly stole money from the woman's purse before leaving. Then Deputy District Attorney Lisa Green prosecuted the case, securing a conviction using DNA evidence for the first time in the county's history. But the conviction was overturned three years later due to mistakes with the DNA. He was retried and reconvicted in 1999 and sentenced to 56 years in prison. He was paroled in July after serving 30 years. At the time of the sexual assault this week, he was still on parole. State data says he posed a high risk of offending again. California adopted Megan's Law in 1996, requiring the state's Department of Justice to notify the public about convicted sex offenders. The Megan's Law website uses risk assessment charts to determine how likely a sex offender is to strike again. They look at factors like a person's age, prior convictions, traits of victims, and ages when released from prison. Venegas' profile shows he earned a score of 5 out of 12 on one test, which the state says is an above average risk to reoffend. On another, Venegas scored a shocking 29 out of 30, placing him among the highest risk sex offenders. Venegas had his first court hearing Thursday afternoon. It's not known yet how much prison time Sergio Venegas faces if convicted. We'll update this story as we learn more. In studio, Moses Small, 17 News.